President Biden says fighting inflation is a top priority. So how does the White House plan to bring down rising prices? CNBC coverage continues with our senior White House correspondent, Kayla Tausche, live for us. Hi, Kayla. Well, hi, Shep. The White House would argue that it's already done a lot to try to tamp down inflation, but it hasn't really worked. But today, that strong jobs report underscoring the White House's long-running argument that the labor market is strong and the speed of the economic recovery is historic. As the Biden administration assesses the health of the economy overall, the jobs data has been the core signal of strength, even as some of those warning signs appear elsewhere. This week, I spoke with three senior administration officials who said they are optimistic based on data on consumer spending, household debt and savings, and evictions, despite fewer people participating in the labor market than they'd like, and some faltering consumer confidence compared to a year ago. Now, the White House argues all of that is a better indicator of economic health than just a few days of market drops. The focus of many economists who look at this question of whether we're headed toward a recession is on fundamental economic data, including the number of jobs that have been created, the growth of, of the, the GDP. Obviously, we have the unemployment rate at 3.6 percent, the biggest single year drop in U.S. history. Household balance sheets are strong. Businesses are investing in the United States. But it's not all roses. There are pain points, and inflation is the big one. Rising prices for goods like gas and groceries, hurting wallets, and tanking President Biden's approval rating. The White House has released emergency oil reserves and changed regulations to try to ease pain at the pump, but it all comes down to the Fed, which announced this week borrowing costs will go up based on their moves, and 401ks are lower after six straight weeks of market drops, the worst in three years. Jared Bernstein, an economic advisor to the president, says a strong economy and some uncertainty can coexist. People can have uh, some very important economic tailwinds at their back, helping them to face this uh, difficult uh, inflationary environment from a position of strength, and they can be unsettled by the inflation. What then of a potential recession? Well, officials tell me they see the economy slowing, and a recession is possible, but they see it as unlikely. Now, by definition, economists declare a recession after six straight months of negative economic growth. The U.S. already saw that during the first three months of the year.